Ten to seven now. The Clarkson controversy rages on. A group of over 60 cross-party MPs have now written to The Sun demanding action over Jeremy Clarkson's violent, misogynistic language against the Duchess of Sussex in his article on Friday. One of the signatories of that letter joins us now, SMP MP Hannah Bardell. Uh, Hannah Bardell, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, Thank you for having me. Uh, I, I can't think of that many occasions where a group of MPs from, from all parties, to be fair, you know, it's a cross-party letter, this is, that have intervened in, in this kind of way. Why did you feel that it was important to sign this letter to the Sun? You're right. It's a it's a fairly unique thing, actually, for, for so many and from, from all parties to come together like this. I think we all felt that the comments were so beyond the pale. I mean, for somebody to even think that, never mind write it down, never mind it get through um, both a legal and editorial team, is, is frankly remarkable. I, and deeply sad. And I think, it, you know, the, the expression of hatred, and it was towards Meghan Markle, but also, you know, Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, that he hated Meghan on a cellular level. It's almost sort of incel-like behaviour. And it frankly makes, you know, people in minorities and, and women in public lives, lives more difficult mm -hmm. and dangerous to exist in a public space. And I'm sure many folk out there have, have heard the interview with Caroline Flack's mum who phoned in uh, to a radio show yesterday. I mean, that just that just hit the nail on the head for me. Is It's a sort of sickness in society that I think we have, that you, we you, want you... to do people down and attack them in such a, a vile way. Um, and I, I just, that's why we all, we all signed that letter and that's why The Sun absolutely must take action. Hannah, you bring up that call, actually, and we were going to play it. We'll play it now, actually. This is uh, from LBC Radio, and Sheila Fogarty was uh, pre presenting the show, and unbeknownst to her, she gets a call, and it's from Caroline Flack's mother. Take a listen. It's just upset me so much um, that Jeremy Clarkson has been allowed to not only think that, but put it in print about somebody... Um, who we don't, you know, we don't know whether she's fragile or not. We shouldn't just be able to say awful things. And, you know, Carrie had the most awful threats over things that were written in the paper. And that picture of all her blood on the front of the sun was let it be known that it was her boyfriend's blood. And it wasn't, it was Carrie's. You could hear the emotion. Yeah, and she went on there. to say that. That was never, ever corrected. Hannah, it's a reminder, isn't it, of words have consequences. We all remember Caroline. So much love, Caroline, what she, what she did for so many people, being on television, outside of television, and her mother hearing her words there. It's yeah, a real was... reminder about the consequences of our words, isn't it? Yeah, and she was hounded to death. Like, let's not forget that. And she was hounded to death by some in the media. Now, as a politician... You know, I, I went into this job knowing fine well we get critiqued, we get criticised, and that is absolutely right. And the media have a very important job to do in our society. And I'd be the first to defend and have defended media freedom. But come on, how can this be where we are? That, that yet again, we're seeing this kind of stuff in the press and, and nothing is happening. I mean, Jeremy Clarkson's apology wasn't an apology. It was a PR spin job of a man who thinks... He can just get away with whatever he wants. You know, white privileged man coming after a woman of colour and a woman in power. And, you know, two MPs have been killed since I got elected in cold blood on the doors of their constituency surgeries. Now, that's not a poor me. That's just a reality of what we as politicians live with. Um, but also what, what just women in public life who exist online, they're just going about their business have to put up with because some man in a very privileged position thinks it's okay to rain down hatred and the publication he's writing for do literally nothing about it nor do his other employers and, and calling for action on this what action would you like to see i think we need to revisit levison um i think there was you know not enough done uh, back then and and not enough of that implemented you know when you when 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 there are mistakes made in the press or inaccuracies they never appear at the same size as the initial story. And, you know, I've had constituents who've had really awful experiences uh, with the press and have had horrible stories written about them, you know, and have never really had justice. And we've seen time and time again that celebrity culture, that obsession with celebrity that, you know, British society seems to have to put people on a pedestal and then knock them down and get great joy from it. I mean, that that isn't 
I don't think, uh, who, who British folk really are. And certainly it's not the kind of culture that we, that we want to see. Um, so we, we, we really need okay. to think very carefully about, about that culture because the bottom line is we want politics to be more representative and public life to be more representative of society and get folk from all different backgrounds. Well, people of colour and folk from minority groups are not going to be interested in getting into politics or into public life if that's how they're going to be treated okay. without consequence. Okay. Um, Hannah Bardell, thanks very much for your view this morning. We appreciate you joining us. And just to say, you know, um, we mentioned there the Jeremy Clarkson apology. He said on Twitter, oh dear, I'd rather put my foot in it in a column I wrote about Meghan. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt. I shall be more careful in future. Andrew, Kevin, let's pick up with you on this one. You know, the column has been taken down. There are, there are calls for action to be taken. What, what do we think is going to happen next with this one? It's going to continue. That's, uh, that's uh, you know, the, the, the death of Caroline Flat was more complex than it was presented uh, there. But Clark, Clarkson overstepped a mark by a long, long way because it was utterly vile. And I'm, I'm still amazed the sun printed that. Now, a free press is the, also the ability to, or the right to have stuff that is unpleasant and other people will very vehemently disagree with, but it has consequences and you've got to, you've got to be able to justify whatever you, you mm. say or you run. Mm. Mm. And the interesting thing about the, the Sun, just looking, you know, work for the Mirror, rival newspaper, but just looking at it, is they're not, they've not attempted to try and justify it. They're that, just that's a wall. And, and, and I'm very windy yeah. about politicians. That I, I think that really pains papers. a lot of people is that yeah. a huge tabloid yeah. paper who have got such a connection with the public yeah. are not commenting on yeah. this. Yeah, I know. And it's become, it's become, it was an issue. It, uh, I couldn't believe it when I read it. Yeah. And I, it was offensive and it shouldn't have gone in. It should never have been printed in the first place. I think they should say something. Yeah. Because they uh, yeah. they must regret it. That's why they've pulled it off the internet. Yeah. You can't read it anymore. Mm -hmm. And they should say so. But shouldn't Clarkson actually be a bit more fulsome? Because well, it as, wasn't as an apology. It wasn't an apology. Yeah, I'd rather Bardell put my foot in it. It's yeah, a it's, slip. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and Meghan Markle, look, I'm no fan of hers, as you know, but she will... You, See, see this and she'll say, see, this is what I have yeah. to put up and it's in the British media. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. And, and, and that is beyond, a one-off. It's beyond Meghan Markle now. And yeah. can I just say, mm -hmm. in the interest of balance here, and a lot of people, yeah. here we are at ITV, Clarkson uh, works for ITV. Yeah. Kevin Ligo, at an event yesterday, managing director of ITV Studios, he said, I don't know what he was thinking about when he wrote that. It was awful. When he was asked if he will keep his position, he said, yes, at the moment we are. When he was asked if he, uh, Clarkson represents ITV values, Ligo replied, no, of course he doesn't in that instance. So... Mm. That's not an official, wasn't an official statement they put out. He was maybe that, that event, maybe that will asked. prompt the apology. Clarkson is paid by the Sun. I mean, who wants to be a millionaire? He presents. He does it quite well. He's got his farm series on Netflix. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank Kevin, you both and very Andrew. much. Thank Happy you. Christmas. Christmas to both of you. Have a lovely time. Have a year. Yeah. yeah. Have a great see you next time. year. See you. We'll yeah. see you then. See you the other side.